The UNESCO ICT CFD hub or repository is a site that contains many different ICT CFD inspired units of study or courses. The first instance came from Guyana back in 2012. The course called the ICT in Education Teachers course was put together by the National Center for Education Resource Development. It focused specifically on what was then called technology literacy and knowledge deepening. In time, however, the materials were picked up by the Kenyan ICT CFT course developers. They were a team drawn from the Ministry, from the Teachers Service Commission, from the Kenyan Institute for Curriculum Development and others. And they put together a course which had a lot more emphasis on knowledge deepening. They were also the first group to actually put it on an LMS, whereas previously in Guyana it had been CD materials, now it had been expanded and had been put onto a Moodle platform. The following year, 2016 to 2017, Rwanda came to the party. The Rwanda Education Board developed the Rwanda ICT Essentials for Teachers course. You can see that in this instance, it looks more at technology literacy, or as we know today, knowledge acquisition, and a little bit on knowledge deepening. In turn, however, that course uh, may, was the inspiration for many others. Djibouti developed a French version specifically aimed at uh, higher education institutions and that course was then taken and developed into a pre-service teachers course uh, for the University uh, of Lomé. The list goes on and on and so therefore it was decided back in 2016 to start setting up a repository. The UNESCO ICT CFD hub was established on the OER Commons platform and the idea was to have a one-stop shop for anything to do with ICT CFD courses that had an open license. The languages represented eventually were French, English, Portuguese and Arabic and you can see it spans all the different ICT CFT levels. The next group who took some of those materials from the hub and elsewhere were the South Africans. Matthew Ganewe School of Leadership and Governance who took the materials and then extended them further. You can see this is one of the first groups that went for knowledge creation units of study. From there, Zimbabwe took the Rwanda materials. In those days, back in 2017, there was not a lot of bandwidth and therefore they wanted a paper-based version. The paper-based version had a one round and then they decided, no, it's very difficult to teach ICT and education paper-based, so let's have a version which can be done on a Android platform. So they developed their materials to work on mobiles. Um, following year, 2017 to 2018, Egypt took the Kenyan materials and were the first ones to translate it into Arabic. And uh, you can see they had a little bit of technology literacy or knowledge acquisition as we call it now and some knowledge deepening. And in 2017, the Mozambique team came to the party. Uh, the developers were from the Institute of Open and Distance Education, or AIDA, and they developed a Portuguese language version of the materials they found on the ICT CFT hub. Further to that, Alexo and the Tunisian Ministry of Education worked together and they developed a, another Arabic course. The nice thing about theirs is theirs is quite different. It uses a different structure, uh, but they've also released their materials with a Creative Commons license, in this case CC by SA. It came to a point then when UNESCO decided, oh, we've got so many different national versions. Some of them are similar because they're drawing from the same materials. Um, others of them are unique. Um, however, the fact that they were all country-based meant that contextualization for new users was very difficult. So they commissioned in 2021 a version which was generic. It stripped out any national references 
tried to talk at a high level and the thinking was that this generic version would be the starting point for any new countries coming to the party. It, it used the best bits from all the other countries and yet gave a rather neutral starting point. The beauty of this particular course is that it is also built on a Moodle platform and it does use the competency framework within the structure of the LMS. So therefore, as people are doing various different units, then they get acknowledgement or recognition for having achieved specific competencies, or in this case, the objectives that are resident in the ICT CFT framework. And that is the origins of the ICT CFT hub. It is really a repository where we can put all of these rich resources. As you saw from the previous slides, they all have Creative Commons licensing, encouraging other people to take them and to reuse them for new contexts.